facilitate the payment of their monthly allowance. Now, this was disclosed by the regional coordinator of NAPCO at a Deba organized to mark the one year anniversary of the program. The Nation Builders Corps program is a government initiative aimed at addressing graduate unemployment, but the policy has been facing challenges of postings and payment of allowances. Speaking at the one-year anniversary celebration of NAPCO, the Upper West Regional Coordinator of the Nation Builders Corps, Umar Nuhu, disclosed the removal of two beneficiaries for impersonation. duty of summarily dismissing two of our trainees for forgery and impersonation as they falsified the signature and official stamp of one of our MIPs to facilitate the payment of their monthly stipends. There are still several such miscreants parading as trainees who, if found, will be flushed out without the slightest hesitation. The regional minister, Dr. Hafiz bin Saleh, advised trainees to be professional and see the initiative as an opportunity to learn new skills and gain the requisite working experience that would enhance their competitiveness on the job market. He reveals that over 600 NAPCO trainees will be employed to work in the region by the end of the year. A substantial number of trainees through the NAPCO program have gotten permanent jobs. I am aware that the Ministry of Food and Agriculture have, has absorbed 54 of the Feed Ghana trainees. Ghana Health Service has absorbed 50 NAPCO trainees, that is nurses in the region. Last week, about 10 trainees received appointment letters to work as supporting staff in Ghana Health Service. A beneficiary who spoke on behalf of trainees in the region made a passionate appeal to the president for the retention of trainees as permanent employees at their various stations. Based on the experiences we have gathered from our various institutions, through to the various institutions we are working, the experience we have gained, it is a dream of every nation builder to be maintained at where they are serving.